It is frightening and this is the worst ever outbreak. So here the government has staged an emergency meeting to send out the message Britain is prepared to deal with the Ebola virus. We've considered what additional measures the UK could take to help control the outbreak uh, in West Africa and we've also looked at what measures we need to put in place on a precautionary basis in case any UK nationals in West Africa should become affected by the disease. 672 people have been killed by this outbreak in Guinea, Sierra Leone and Liberia. One man died in Lagos after taking two flights, one from Liberia to Togo and then another from there to Nigeria's biggest city. The fear is that Lagos is a major international hub airport with many flights to London. There is no cure for Ebola, which eventually kills by destroying the internal organs. But for about two weeks, the symptoms may not be recognised. The fear is someone infected could bring it to the UK. But the health secretary today said we have the expertise here to deal with that. So we are um, taking precautionary measures, um, we are looking at our capability, but we're very confident that we have very good people in the NHS, very experienced people, who would be ready to deal with anything if it were to arrive in the UK. The virus is spread through contact with bodily fluids. That's why health workers must not have their skin exposed. Sandra Smiley has been in West Africa working on this outbreak, and she says it is punishing work for doctors and nurses. It's very difficult from an emotional point of view as well. I mean, it's a, it's a disease that, if it's not caught early, um, it, it causes great suffering and it causes people to die. Um, and so, yeah, from an emotional point of view, it's very difficult as well. For now, Britain may not be in danger, but as long as this outbreak continues, there is a threat which we have to prepare for.